As you can see, I have OpenIV right here for GTA 5. I'm going to teach you how to install OpenIV in a super simple way. Let's get started with this video. A step number one to download and install OpenIV for GTA 5 is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install OpenIV. Now, this is an in-depth guide. You have a screenshots, you have text, you have everything that you need to install OpenIV for those of you that prefer to read and look at photos. Those of you that just want to follow along the video, all you have to do is to scroll down until you see this download button right here and then go ahead and click it. That will redirect you over here where we're going to wait a couple seconds until it loads. This is the official openivy.com website and in here we're going to click where it says download now. That will automatically start the download. In my case it's asking me where to save the file but for you it's going to download automatically. Now, if you're using Chrome, you could probably find your file here in the recent download history. If you're using a different browser, then it might be somewhere else. However, you could always find it within your downloads folder in your computer. Once you have the OV set up that exe file, go ahead and try and drop it into your desktop. It should look something like this. Once we have this file, all we have to do to start the installation is literally double click it. Make sure that your GTA 5 game is closed and as well as your GTA launcher, everything related to GTA is closed and then go ahead and launch the installer. It will look something like this. You can select either English or Russian. We're going to use English and then we're going to click continue. In here, we're going to give it a second. We're going to click that we accept the terms of this agreement. We're going to click continue. Now in here, we need to select the installation path for OpenIV. In my case, I'm going to leave it as it is on the default. If you want to change it, go ahead and change it and install it somewhere else. Anyways, we're going to leave everything as default in here and we're going to click continue. And then we're going to click yes to download the size. It's only 20 megabytes. It should be super quick. Go ahead and click on yes. Again, all the steps are within our guide when you use the second link in the description. Give it a second for OpenIV to install. And once OpenIV has installed, you could go ahead and close. It will say here it has been completed successfully. Go ahead and close it. And now we could launch OpenIV by double clicking it. When we launch OpenIV, we'll have multiple options in here. Obviously for this video, we're going to do the Grand Theft Auto 5. We're doing GTA 5 in this option and we're doing Windows. If you're doing the same, go ahead and click on Windows right here and it will have you select your GTA 5 installation folder. In my case, I installed GTA through Epic Games. How do you find out where you install your game? Well, it will depend what you use to install it. Let's say that you installed it through Epic Games or Steam. Then I will show you how to get the location in a second. But if you use the default location when you install the game, then you're just going to browse, go into your Windows installation and then find the games in there. And you'll find GTA, right, in the default location. But those of you that use Epic Games or Steam, you're gonna do the following. In my case, I use Epic Games. So what you're going to do is find GTA within your Epic Games launcher. Click on the little three dots that appear right here. Click on Manage. Click on this little folder that appears right here and you will open the install location. If you click up here in this little line right here, you will get to select the location of the game. Just go ahead and right click it, copy it. You will close from this folder. You will close from the launcher or minimize it. Go back to OpenIV, click on browse. And in here, we're going to paste the location that we just copy it, right? So let's say that you open the OpenIV finder in here and then you're somewhere like this. You could just click up here, paste the location and then press enter and it will take you to the folder. And then we're going to click select folder, right? That is if you use Epic Games. If you use a Steam, all you have to do is open your Steam, find your GTA 5. Obviously I don't have GTA 5 right now, so I'm just going to use a random game. And then once you have GTA 5 in here, you're going to click on this little settings or manage option right here. Then you're gonna click on properties. And right here, you're going to click on install files. Once you're in install files, you're going to click on browse. And it's the same thing that we did before. We're going to select the line on top and we're going to copy it. And then we're going to close out of this, go back into the OpenIV. We're going to click on browse and we're going to paste it up here. That is if you use a Steam and then you're going to click select folder again. Okay, so that's for those of you that use either Epic Games or Steam. If you just install the GTA game in the default location, then it's probably in your C drive. You're gonna head over to your PC. You're gonna go to local disk and you're gonna find it in the program files. You're probably gonna find it there in games, okay? It's different for everybody. So I recommend that you just look it up. If you can't find it, you'll probably find it super simple or read through our guide and you'll probably find it. Anyways, once we find the location, go ahead and click on continue and give it a second and then click on continue again. Now we gotta do is wait for this to finish loading. It should take anywhere between 10, 15 seconds. It's not really that long. And once it's finished, uh, the OpenIV will open. Again, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments or you could read through our guide. Now, once you launch the OpenIV, I recommend that you click here in this little 
ASI manager thingy. And in here, I recommend that you install everything in here. I already have it installed, but when you open it, instead of saying uninstall, it will say install. Okay, so I recommend that you install everything in here because if you're trying to install mods, add graphic mods or anything to the game, you will have to enable those anyways. So you might as well enable them since the beginning. It might take a second and then you just install them and that's it, you're set. That is pretty much how to install OpenAV. If you're looking to add shaders to the game or graphic mods or any other mods, I recommend that you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be posting videos about modding GTA 5 more often. That's been everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, bye bye.